Good evening, everybody. My name is, well, all the plebeians in the world seem to refer to me as Mr. Moneybags, but I feel like that is greatly overstated and not even remotely accurate to who I actually am. It is truly insulting. My real name is Sir Douglas Fitzgerald the 24th. <laughs> twice removed. And because I know that you are all curious because this is the type of conversations that plebeians have every day, my net worth is approximately 55 bajillion dollars, so I'm probably worth more than your mom. So I have been graciously requested to come here and show off my loadout if I were to play in a nerf game, which I do take pride in attending often. So my main primary Oh, well, it isn't actually this. This right here is my Generation 1 Nguyen Box Titan ASV-1, okay? And this blaster doesn't actually even work. It's actually broken on the inside. I'm not going to open it and fix it because that would decrease its value and I want to keep it in stock configuration. But I mainly just carry this around everywhere I can go so I can show everybody else in the room that I have an original Generation 1 Titan and rocket but if we move all of these things aside carefully lay them down on the floor i can show you my true loadout so you are probably expecting me to do something cool where i open my jacket superman style and my tactical loadout is inside but that wouldn't be expensive enough so what i have done is underneath my expensive first century steampunk style jacket i have a victorian era british steampunk vest which is just as expensive as the jacket and i must gracefully unbutton all four buttons before carefully zipping this down the middle and then once again superman style opening this to expose my first generation nerf and strike tactical vest extraordinaire and from the back you can see that my primary is a fully intact Raven Stinger model, exclusively because this is the most expensive and hard to find version of the Stinger, or the, the expensive and hard to find version of the Raven. I often get them confused because I only ever refer to this as a Stinger to see if anybody recognizes it, and then hopefully to impress the casualists in the world because, oh my god, you have the most expensive version of the Raven. You must be a trillionaire. <laughs> I am. To humor the casualist, sometimes I will pull out my first generation Firefly. Even though this really isn't worth anything, at least it's a first generation original release and strike blaster, very similarly to this long shot, which unfortunately does not belong to me. It belongs to this cheap plebeian named Tessera's Nerf Room or something like that. I don't know who he is. You best unsubscribe from his channel if you're subscribed because it seems like a terrible, terrible place filled with terrible, terrible nugget. But I mainly just bought this blaster because you know, I wanted it. Not that, I, not that it's worth anything. You can find these for five dollars. Ugh, not nearly enough money to breathe in this room, but Luckily, that is what my loadout. I usually don't stick with that for very long before I switch to my most precious primary out here, a first generation modified Doomlands The Judge. I always make sure to put the article the in the name because Hasbro put it on themselves and I want to treasure the things that Hasbro gives us. The reason why I carry this blaster around is because it's expensive. It's not even like it works very well. It's just a giant shotgun thing and it looks overly badass when I'm holding it because I am a pompous, terrible person holding a very pompous looking blaster. But for my final trick, I greatly enjoy pulling out my Cleave series Vulcan EBF25. I don't even have the chain for it, but it is very fun to make everybody else feel like they aren't worth as much as me because they are not. This is the most expensive blaster I own. And guess how much I paid for it? Uh, $50? No, higher. Um, 100? There's no way you paid 200 for it. <laughs> you wish. This bad boy right here cost me a terrible horribly egregious $250 to acquire, which is way more than anyone else should reasonably have to pay for something that's this nugget tier. But there is one last thing that I do very greatly enjoy pulling out 
doing a last minute battle right before going home. And usually this nearly gets me jumped, but it's worth it. But oftentimes I enjoy storing the box for the original Titan ASV-1. And with that, the Unity power system purchased for a horrifically overpriced $330 and opened up to remove all the components. I'm sure every collector on planet Earth is probably screaming at me through their camera. Oh, and I certainly wish, because it feels so good to have more money than you. I have money. I like money. Money, 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 money. That should work for Hasbro. I'd be a good salesman. And after I put all my things back in, I enjoy closing my robes back up like this. If I can please just get that out of the way. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this thing is so awful. You just do this and then I can't be bothered to close the jacket, but you get the point. That has been my loadout and I take this to every battle that I go to. I don't think I've ever necessarily won a nerf war legally, but I usually just pay the refs $500 each to make me win. So I've never actually lost a nerf game in my entire life. You should be very afraid of me because I've got the money to win every war that I go to. This video, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,